Just how close was De'Aaron Fox's rookie season to John Wall's? Much closer than you think. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and share this video with your NBA family. This video is presented by Power Hands, so get your handles right and grab yourself some gloves. Let's get to it. Kings fans and De'Aaron Fox fans should be hyped heading into the offseason because when looking at the season as a whole, Fox and Wall had nearly identical rookie seasons when looking at advanced analytics. Sure, John Wall had better counting stats, averaging 16 and 8, but notice he played 37 minutes compared to Fox's 27 minutes. That's a massive difference, not only statistically, but morally. What do I mean by morally? I mean Flip Saunders gave Wall the keys to the franchise right away. Wall started 64 out of his 69 played games, and as I mentioned earlier, played major minutes. When looking at his synergy stats, Wall had 1,400 plus possessions on offense compared to Fox's 1,000 plus possessions. Before I get into more advanced stats, the eyeball test would suggest that both players use their elite speed and quickness to create issues for defenses on most nights. That's where Fox drew most of his comparisons at Kentucky to John Wall when he came into the league. But where Wall gets a check mark win for purposes of visually comparing these two players is his aggressiveness to the rim. He averaged 5.7 free throw attempts per game compared to Fox's 2.6 attempts. Now, I will say this, for most of the season, Fox would not get the benefit of the doubt from the referees. And coach Dave Yeager running the high post offense did not help Fox's cause either. I will also say De'Aaron was not as aggressive as John his rookie season. So there are many variables to why Wall performed better in that area of his game. Now let's look at their play types on Synergy Sports and see where they ranked amongst other players in the NBA. Both had 400 plus possessions as the pick and roll ball handler and received a below average rating, which puts them amongst the worst percentile in the NBA. As you can see, in transition, spot up, and isolation plays, they ranked almost identical. Let's move on to defense. They were both below average overall. Here are their play types, and as you can see, they ranked nearly identical in most areas as well. Coming into the season, we thought their speed and quickness would help them become solid defenders, but their lack of strength and a bunch of moving screens that never get called killed them when defending on most nights. Now, Fox gets the nod when it comes to the clutch. Rookie field goals in the last 30 seconds with the score plus minus two points. That's right, De'Aaron Fox ranks number one and by a long shot. Six out of seven attempts, the kid has been clutch. I have seen it live. This man lives for those moments. You cannot teach that, and that's why he gets a nod there. All other rookies were 8 of 35, which is 23%, and these stats are from April 7th. But Fox will finish number one no matter what happens in the final two games of the season. So moral of this video, both players did not have a great overall season, but both gave their fan bases hope because of the flashes of greatness they showed throughout the season. Now, John Wall is one of the best point guards in the NBA now, and if Fox continues to add strength and work hard, he will be up there in a few years. Let me know if you agree or disagree. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow NBA fans. Don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms. I'll see you guys on the next video.